irrespective of the initial velocity at which the cart begins to move, it will lose this much amount of velocity before it hits the block. Hello students, today we will momentum chapter ke upar ek question karenge. और एक क्वेश्चन मैं आपको होमवर्क के तौर पे छोटा क्वेश्चन देकर छोड़ दूंगा आइए देखते हैं हमारा आज का ये क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन सेज अ कार्ट ऑफ मास एम एंड लेंथ एल इज प्लेस्ड ऑन ए हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस देयर इज अ कार्ट ऑफ मास एम एंड लेंथ एल दिस लेंथ इज एल इट्स मास इज एम मास ऑफ द कार्ट इज एम अ स्मॉल ब्लॉक ऑफ equal mass m this red colored object is a small block having same mass as that of the cart is kept touching the left wall of the cart the block is initially here touching the left wall of the cart it is given a velocity u towards right now by some trick this small block is given a velocity u towards right the velocity of the block initial velocity of the block is u towards right it moves on the smooth surface of the cart and it hits the right wall the surface of the cart on which the block is moving this surface is smooth so the block moves on the smooth surface of the cart and hits this right wall the block does not face any air resistance inside the cart as the cart has been evacuated there is no air inside the cart and therefore the block does not uh, experience any air resistance force uh, the cart moves on the smooth horizontal surface but faces an air resistance force which is proportional to its velocity when the cart moves it moves on this blue colored horizontal surface which is smooth but when the cart moves it faces an air resistance force which is proportional to speed of the cart so force is minus kv this minus sign indicates that force is opposite to velocity always okay k is a constant with suitable dimensions all collisions are elastic all collisions are elastic find the velocity of the cart immediately after fifth collision you have to find the velocity of the cart immediately after fifth collision i am getting out of the screen you can capture the question and give it a try on your own before uh, looking at my solution so here i do the solution uh, this is the initial situation that is given to us the initial velocity of this block is u because the block moves on the smooth surface of the cart cart is not going to move actually only the block will move till it hits the right wall of the cart just before hitting the wall of the cart the block is still having a speed u it has not lost any energy so it is still moving with speed u but the cart has not moved till now now there is a collision and the most tricky part of this collision and the of this question is that both the objects are having same mass and collision is elastic so all of you must be knowing what happens yes if you want to give it a, another try pause the video give it a try there is exchange of velocity as all of you must be knowing equal mass elastic collision head on collision obviously there is an exchange of velocity which means just after the collision the red colored block will come to rest and the cart will start to move towards right with velocity u both are having same mass so immediately after the collision this block is not moving but the cart is moving with velocity u so what is going to happen next the block will stay here only and the cart is moving so the left wall of the cart is going to come and hit the block again right so after some time we will see a situation like this the block is at the same position in the space in the reference frame of the ground the block is not at all moving and the cart is moving therefore the left wall of the cart is going to hit the block so just before this hit uh, the velocity of the car cart is no more u it is less than u can you recognize that velocity must have reduced because the cart is facing some air resistance so 
after the block hits the cart, the cart acquires velocity u, but by the time it travels through a distance l, its velocity must have reduced. So, the new velocity of the cart just before this collision is going to be somewhat less than u, let me call it as v. So, here the collision happens and again the collision is elastic, again the collision is elastic. So, immediately after the collision, the cart is going to come to rest and the block will begin to move with this velocity of the cart and the process continues. I hope you all of you have understood this. Think for it for a moment or abhi bhi question ko khud se try karna chate ho karo. Now, what we are going to do is we will first calculate what will be velocity of the cart immediately before this collision. What is velocity of the cart immediately before this collision? This is second collision, right? First collision happened when the block was moving and it hit the cart. The second collision happens when the block is stationary, but the cart is moving. But cart is moving right now with somewhat lesser velocity. So, what is the velocity of the cart just before the second collision? How can we calculate that? For that, it has been given that the air resistance force is directly proportional to speed of the cart. So, we can write energy is lost only when the cart moves, that is the truth obviously. So, here I am writing for cart, mass times acceleration of the cart is equal to minus kV when it is moving, when the cart is moving, when the block is stationary in space and the cart is moving, it is facing air resistance and therefore, its velocity is decreasing, right. So, m dv by dt is minus kV, this is only for the cart, I am just studying the motion of the cart. Right now, I am not considering block in my system, block is not moving, there is no horizontal force between the block and the cart right now, because the surface here is smooth. So, after the cart acquires a velocity u and it is moving, its speed is gradually decreasing because of air resistance and just before it hits the block its speed is somewhat less uh, that we have written as v. So, uh, for this cart uh, what I am going to do is I am writing dv by dt is v dv by dx where uh, x is the horizontal displacement of the cart, right. So, if you put it that way uh, I guess all of you know that acceleration can be written as dv by dt, it can also be written as v dv by dx. So, if I write it as v dv by dx then v from both the sides will cancel out and it will become m dv by dx is equal to minus k, okay. Next, I separate the variables m dv is equal to minus k dx, integrate and put the limits, the limits has not been written here. When the cart covers a distance l, this length is l. So, after the cart covers distance l, it is going to hit the block again. So, what is its new velocity? What is the velocity of the cart after it has traveled through a distance L? So, this is what I want to calculate. So, x changing from 0 to L, where x is displacement of the cart, velocity of the cart changes from u to a lesser value v. So, if you do the integration, it is very straightforward. This will become m times v minus u, that is minus of k into L. Uh, here, it, it is small l, okay. Excuse me for that take it as a small l only, take this one as small l, small l is the length of the cart. So, m times v minus u is equal to minus k l, what does it mean actually? Uh, after the block hits the cart, the cart begins to move and it travels a distance l before hitting the block again. So, during this period when the cart travels through distance l, it loses velocity because of air resistance force and the loss in velocity, loss in velocity if I can write it as delta v is nothing but k l by m. I have, I have ignored the minus sign, minus sign is showing that v has decreased, okay. So, the change in velocity is minus k l by m. When I say delta v is loss in velocity, I can simply write it as k l by m. So, the important thing is this loss in velocity of the cart is actually independent of initial velocity of the cart. Can you see that? The loss in velocity, loss does not depend on uh, u. So, 
every time this phenomena repeats, every time this phenomena repeats, irrespective of the initial velocity at which the cart begins to move, it will lose this much amount of velocity before it hits the block. So, kya hoga ki is collision ke baad ab fir se block bhi velocity se chalega aur cart ko hit karega. So, when the block hits the uh, this wall of the cart, the right wall of the cart, again the velocity of the cart will be V. Block is not losing any energy when it moves, right. So, block will continue to move with velocity V and hit the cart. Immediately after the collision, cart is at rest, the block acquires the velocity V, it is going to move and hit the right wall of the cart. So, in this motion of the block, there is no loss of energy. So, immediately after the block hits the cart, velocity of the cart will again be V. But now the cart begins to move and travels a distance L before hitting the block. So, again in during that course of motion, the cart will lose its velocity by this amount only. It does not depend on the initial velocity of the cart. So, this is key point that you must take a note of. So, now the question has been solved I guess. Uh, where is the first collision? When the block hits the cart, this is collision number 1. Cart begins to move, hits the block, this is collision number 2. Now, block is moving, hits the cart, this is collision number 3. Cart is moving, hits the block, collision number 4 and block hits the cart again, this is collision number 5. So, the question has asked us to find the velocity of the cart immediately after the fifth collision, if I am right, yes. Find the velocity of the cart immediately after the fifth collision. So, after this collision, what will be velocity of the cart? Again, you need to understand this yellow colored second and fourth collision. Look at this. Between first and second collision, there is loss in velocity of the cart. First collision is when block hits the cart. Now, the cart begins to move and hits the block. So, between first and second collision, there is loss of velocity by delta v, by an amount delta v. Similarly, between third and fourth collision, there is loss in velocity of the cart by same amount delta v. So, by the time fifth collision has happened, uh, there are only two instances of the cart losing velocity. The system loses energy only when the cart moves. So, by the time fifth collision has taken place, uh, the cart has only moved twice through the same distance L. So, therefore, we have lost energy only twice, velocity has been lost only twice. So, in every instance when the cart moves, velocity decreases by k L by m. So, obviously, uh, the cart has moved only two times, therefore, 2 k L by m, this is the loss in velocity. So, immediately after fifth collision, uh, the velocity, if it is v dash, then it will be equal to, oh, so sorry, u minus this much. u is the initial velocity and in every instance when the cart moves through distance l, the system loses only one object is moving, right. So, let me call it as system, whichever is moving. It loses velocity by k L by m. So, after two such collisions, the total loss in velocity is this. So, this will be the velocity just before the fifth collision, just after the fifth collision. Just before the fifth collision, block is moving with this velocity and just after the fifth collision, the cart will have this velocity. So, this is the solution of this question. I hope all of you have enjoyed this and as promised, I will leave you with a very simple question, objective question you can say and try to solve this. The question says, a man is at one end of a plank which has been placed on a rough horizontal surface. Now, this blue surface is a rough horizontal surface. There is a plank on it. This is a massive plank and the blue surface is horizontal and there is friction between the plank and the horizontal surface. 
the man starts running towards the other end of the platform. This man is standing at one end of the platform and he starts running towards the other end of the platform. Let us say this end is A, this end is B. So, man starts running towards the other end of the platform and on reaching there, he abruptly stops. And when the man reaches end B of the platform, he all of a sudden stops moving. So, man starts running and just before falling, he stops. On the platform itself, he stops. Immediately after the man stops moving relative to the platform, immediately after the man stops moving relative to the platform, which of the following three options are correct, is or are correct? M maybe only one is correct, maybe more than one is correct. The first option is the platform may have a velocity towards right. Immediately after the man stops here, this platform may have a velocity towards right. The platform may not move at all. The platform may not move at all and the platform may have a velocity uh, towards left. Which of these three options do you think would be correct? Uh, this is the question. I am leaving you with this question. Spend some time on it and I am quite sure that most of you will be able to do it on your own. So, students, goodbye. Thank you. Keep sharing the videos and please do like it if you have really liked the problem. Thank you.